pretty, a pretty uh, amazing story that we want to tell you about right now. Yeah, three Portland police officers share an incredible story of survival. Forensics M Sergeant Margaret Basson, gang detective Todd Teets, and juvenile runaway services officer Julia Rico have all received life-saving liver transplants. Each thinks of their donor daily. I think of my donor every day, and that's not a cliche. It's it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Driving to work every day, you know, beautiful day like today. Um, I want those families to know it really matters. Um, they're never forgotten. Well, the officers give a lot of credit to the nonprofit Donate Life Northwest and their work with the DMV. In 1975, when Donate Life began working with the DMV to increase awareness, just 3% of Oregonians were registered donors. Listen to this. Today, 74% of people are registered. And coming up tonight at 4 p.m., our very own Sally Showman has the remarkable stories of each of the officers saved by donation. Yeah, no, each, I met him earlier or last week, actually, mm -hmm. and they're all incredible. Margaret Bonson, who you just heard from, uh, the sergeant with the forensics unit, she's had two liver transplants. Wow. And all of them, you know, one is likely a genetic condition because his brother, Todd Teets's brother, also had to have mm -hmm. a liver transplant, but the other two, just a random condition that popped wow. up and they were in liver failure, all of them saved within hours of death. Your, these stories that you do always make me tear up, so oh, I'll have just, to watch. It just reminds you of the importance of having that conversation, yeah. whether you're for organ donation or not, making sure that your family knows what your wishes are is so yeah. important. But that's an incredible number, from 3% to 74%. Mm -hmm. so. a, a lot of time, it's all, that's all it takes yeah. is awareness, because yeah. you don't think about it unless it happens to you or someone you know. You're desperate for an organ, and that can save your life. And I've seen firsthand lives completely you know, changed and altered by this, and even the donor families, they're able to see their loved ones living on through others. You know, I've been there as a mother, listened to her son's heart beat again mm. wow, in wow. someone else's chest. Looking forward to that story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's powerful. It'll be on tonight at cool. four o'clock. Looking so, forward to it.